You are watching Jelly Pie Central News and I'm Lotta. With me is Marion Levy, the amazing author of Ellie May. What does Ellie May do to make you laugh? Well, Ellie May makes me laugh the most when she does things that are incredibly inappropriate for where she is. So when she goes to see the headmaster in book number one and she's supposed to be trying to save a nature reserve and in the end she ends up talking about all the films that she's been in and wanting to sign autographs and having her photo taken. Or in the second book when she's supposed to be doing a really big apology to the character Fleur and in the end she just starts talking all about herself and there are violins playing and she's showing off and those are the moments that make me laugh the most. What's your funniest memory? My funniest memory, and Lotta, I've never told anybody else this, so I hope you won't put it on the internet or anything like that. My funniest memory is my first memory. Normally, people often ask you, what's your first memory from when you were really, really little? And I can never tell anyone what my first memory was, but I'm gonna tell you. It was when I was really little, a baby probably, and I was in the bath and I was splashing around and my mum was there and she was washing my hair. And we were having a lovely, lovely time. I remember feeling really happy and then seeing a poo floating past and thinking any second now my mum is going to see that poo and I'm going to be in real trouble. And that's my funniest memory and it's also probably my most embarrassing memory at the same time. What's your funniest joke? My funniest joke is so funny that I can't say it out loud in a room full of people because if I said it onto the internet, whenever you hear my funniest joke, it's so funny that your head will explode. But would you like me to say it to you, Lotta? Okay, right. Sorry, Lotta's mum. Here are some next questions for you. How did you know how Ellie Mae's character should be like? That's a really good question and I don't have a very good answer. I just sort of know what she's like now. It was a bit difficult at the beginning because I felt like, you know when you meet a new friend and you don't know them very well? And so I had to put her in lots of different situations to find out how she would react. But now I sort of feel like I know her better than most of even my very best friends. So now I can sort of put her in any situation and I know that basically she'll just do the most embarrassing thing possible. What tips do you have for young girls who want to be writers? Ah, oh, I've got two big tips for young girls and young boys who want to be writers. The first one is to read. Read and read and read and read in your bedroom at night even after your mum and dad have told you to go to sleep and read at the table when you're eating your dinner and read in the bath, read on the toilet. You can get lots of good reading down on the toilet. And careful not to drop your book though. And the second thing I would say is to keep a diary and write down all the amazing things that happen to you. And sometimes you can write down some amazing things that you'd like to have happen to you that haven't happened yet. And you'll find you're turning into a writer. Thank you, Marianne. That's it from Jelly Pie Central. See you next time.